Benson from Color Gal, and today I'm going to show you how to bling out your jewelry macro shots. The photo that we're going to use is um, a ring and glitter shot from simply placing a ring on a shoe. But we do need to take the photograph a step further with editing to finish looking just like that. So clearly we can tell that the edited version we have here is not exactly what the raw version looks like. And that's just because there's a few things we need to do and I've already done some of them. We have bumped up our exposure just slightly in raw. We then went into our fill light and bumped that up a little bit. I tend to shoot my macro shots a little darker um, because I'm at a higher f-stop so sometimes there's a little bit of um, fill light. Don't get too dramatic on that part though. Then I bump up my contrast, and I do this even for portraits, sometimes just bumping it up a little bit. The contrast here for this photo is 34, and the most important thing for jewelry shots to really bling them out is to bump up your clarity as high as you can get it. This really helps to straighten the facets, to bring out the details, and show the beautiful geometric shapes inside of a diamond or the light the next is to click on the details tab, sharpening. I bumped that up to about 50. Again, the reason why you want to shoot in RAW is so that you have the capability to do these things. The photograph is not compressed yet, it's not flattened, so we can do them exactly how we would have shot them, or how we, how we want them to appear shot. The last thing I would show you is to make sure that you have your photograph being transferred as an sRGB once it's saved to JPEG. We have it set to an 8-bit. Um, I do like to do 16-bit sometimes. Dark photos will show some banding. 16-bit uh, will help that. Make sure that your resolution is at 300. You can click this link and make any changes that you want. And then we're just going to open up our photograph. When we open this up, it's still not to the exact point of this shoot, or photograph, I'm sorry. And all you have to do is just a couple things. We have made the most amazing action for macro shots, and probably being that I am a macro girl, this was an important thing for me to create. Um, the layers with inside of this action are really dynamic and beautiful for jewelry because it will bring out those final details. I'm going to quickly colorize this photograph because it does um, have some green tones to it. I could have made some adjustments in raw, but I knew that I loved this um, action lilac and cream from the Magical Light. I like to do on gold glitter. So we're going to just change a few little things here. I am going to take my levels and turn them down a little bit. I am going to go into the lilac, turn that down a little bit, and I'm just trying to get a little of the purple out. I want to keep the golds, and we're going to have our warmth all the way up. So we are all set with that. The next thing we're going to do is click on our background and then run our jewelry sparkler. This is a must for me to use. I really like to make sure that people who are seeing my photographs are saying wow and sh doing a jewelry sparkle action on the image is that little step that you should take. So we have a, it's going to tell me to get a white paintbrush. So we're all set. You get a paintbrush that's the size of your diamond and click on it once. And that is all you need. So I'm going to show you without the action and with the action. We haven't turned it up the jewelry sparkle layer but you could really even go a step further and turn that up high. I'm going to keep it up high for this tutorial so that you can see and I'm also going to zoom into the diamond so that you get the full effect. So this is after the action is ran and this is before. So pay attention to the diamond here really just cleans up those facets again. Takes out any of the softness that you have and just shines them up. So that's all we would do. Thank you so much for watching.